Hello, and welcome to Quick Charge. I'm Mikey G, and it's Tuesday, June 13th. Tesla's stock is quite up in one of the company's best runs in value ever. Macroeconomics has a big impact on large stocks like Tesla, and improvements on that front have helped the automaker. However, the Nasdaq is up 10% while Tesla is up 51% over the last 30 days. A string of good news seems to have helped Tesla push higher at a faster rate than the rest of the market. Most recently, the adoption of the NACS connector, which is Tesla's, and the incoming standard has resulted in several Wall Street analysts considering Tesla's supercharger business on the up. The other thing that is likely helping the stock is the confidence and demand for Tesla's vehicles seeming to be improving, primarily due to the fact that Tesla has slowed down its constant price changes over the last month. With the end of the quarter approaching, and Tesla not aggressively changing prices again, this gives the market more confidence and demand. Stellantis confirmed that it is evaluating Tesla's NACS connector. It is considering adopting it, but the automaker doesn't seem to be ready to commit. Since General Motors' announcement, virtually all charging station manufacturers and operators have announced that they will support the NACS connector. We anticipate that all automakers producing electric vehicles in North America will do the same eventually. But several polls have indicated that electric car followers believe that Rivian will be the next company to announce the use of the connector, and Stellantis has sometimes been seen as second place. Stellantis now says that they plan on evaluating the connector, and they took the time to promote their own charging brand. Now, in Electrek's take, this indicates that Stellantis very well could be further behind the curve than we thought in terms of electric adoption. Polestar has announced that the 2024 Polestar 2 will now start at $51,300, including destination fee. And although this is slightly higher than the last year, the 24 version does include some goodies, such as improved range. The new long-range single-motor version features a slew of standard equipment and fast charging upgrades, now with up to 205 kilowatts DC charging. The single-motor variant will be offered in rear-wheel drive with up to 320 miles of range, as rated by the EPA, and an 82 kilowatt hour battery capacity. The dual motor version will have up to 276 miles and a 78 kilowatt hour battery. As standard, all 2024 Polestar 2 variants will include features of blind spot information system with steer assist, cross traffic alert with brake assist, park assist sensor, and a 360 degree camera, and of course, who could forget, auto dimming door mirrors. And we can't get too excited for this one, but Volkswagen did reveal a new digital electric Beetle concept. It's for an upcoming animated film set to hit theaters and Netflix next month. The automaker teased the idea of an electric bug way back in 2017, but we haven't really heard anything since. However, now an electric Beetle concept is shown in the promotional material for the movie Miraculous Ladybug and Cat Noir. Now, the vehicle is side by side with animated versions of real life Volkswagen products like the ID Buzz. So, just a little hint. Rimac has revealed that they have delivered their first Navera electric hypercar to a customer in the US. This is one of the fastest cars in the world and the current fastest production electric car until we get a Roadster version 2, I suppose. Now, the Rimac Navera set a new 0 to 249 to 0 record of 29.93 seconds. This is a test of acceleration, aerodynamics, top speed, and stopping power. On the test track in Germany, the Navera secured a 23 independently verified speed record, as well as its recent title for the fastest top speed of any production electric car. Pretty cool. According to a new report, Hyundai is forming a powerhouse EV alliance by joining forces with South Korea's Samsung, SK, and LG. According to the Korea Times, the EV alliance anticipates using Samsung's autonomous driving semiconductors, SK batteries, on Hyundai and Kia vehicles. Meanwhile, LG will supply organic light-emitting diode, or OLED, for instrument panels. The move comes after companies in the alliance have invested heavily to boost their competitiveness in the rapidly evolving electric auto industry. According to Governor Eric Holcomb of Indiana, General Motors is planning to build a new $3 billion EV battery plant in the state, and it's a joint venture with Samsung. 
The facility will be the fourth battery plant in the U.S. This is an interesting move considering that General Motors already has plans for three electric vehicle battery factories with a joint venture with LG Energy instead of Samsung. Now, although GM and LG were considering a fourth battery plant, people familiar with the matter said that talks between the two companies were on hold indefinitely after failing to move through negotiations. Construction on GM's fourth EV battery plant is set to begin within the next year, supporting over 1,000 new jobs during the build and is scheduled to start operations in 2026. In today's community comment found on YouTube, David O'Dell asks, LOL, how does NEO convince themselves battery swaps are viable? Well, that's a good question, David. I'm really curious how they convince customers and stockholders that battery swaps are viable. Offering free battery swapping sounds fine for customers at first glance. You just drive around, get your battery swapped, and get a full tank, I suppose, all for free. But that's going to be very, very expensive, especially in the long run. With customers trading out their batteries on a moment's notice, the incentive to upkeep battery hygiene for the long term is completely gone. Dumping company money into these stations and into batteries that are rapidly degrading I'm sure the shareholders were probably foaming at the mouth to axe this program. Battery swapping is really cool, but the logistics of giving away long-term responsibility and then ingesting someone else's wear and tear, it just doesn't work. Sorry, Neo. Thanks for watching Quick Charge by Electrek. I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a great day.